Yeah, what's up? I felt to mention, too, on the first part, I was talking about Mimi and the sex tape. Um, about, you know, how she shocked the world with the shit. Because we held her, like, in a more sophisticated realm. Instead of, like, something, like, so low as that. As how she was, like, you know, basically insulting jo Jocelyn with the hoes and strippers and all the other shit. Gave her one of them titles, and now she got the title of a damn porn star, a porno person, just a bitch that's on porn, just, just you know, behind the cameras, willingly knowing that you're being recorded. Uh, I failed to mention, I can see, I don't know how she's doing in her business right now, if her business is doing bad. But I I haven't heard any stories about her financial situation. But I could see if her financial situation was like in a in a you know like it's gonna be invaded with you know lawsuits or you know brokerage like just heading towards lo the lowest you can go you know the bottom of the bottom to where you can't even pay a bill you're struggling it's worse than check by check you know what I'm saying I could see if She's, you know, heading towards that realm. But it's a lot of chicks on these reality shows that have, you know, invested in other things, started other things, their own clothing line, makeup line, all that. Mimi, a cute chick. She could start her own hairline or something, you know what I'm saying? But for this here, like... You doing all of this because you can't. I, I don't see you doing it for money. I can't see her doing it for money. I can see her doing it just for, you know, just, I, I don't know, maybe Kim Kardashian reasons. I don't know because it's, cause it's, you know, that's what everybody else saying too. You know, it reminds you of Kim Kardashian. But, you know, Kim Kardashian wasn't in Mimi's shoes, like, Mimi was a fucking business owner, successful business owner in Atlanta, I don't see it, I can't see it being a money situation, so, I don't understand it, I don't understand it, if I had that much power as far as owning my own business, and it being a successful business, I'm gonna invest in something else other than making a porn to make a buck, and I, so that's why I don't think she doing it, to make money, I just don't know why she's doing it, you know, I, I don't know, you know, church folk might say it's the devil, I don't know, but all I know is that's just crazy, I know she's going to regret the shit, and it's just sad to see that's as far as she's going to go. To just, you know, even for fame. That's 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 how much you gonna go for fame. Putting your pussy all on the screen for the whole world to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't gonna never, like, we can't never look at her the same no more. I can't, I can't keep that image of her being that, you know, that, that woman that, you know, every black woman out there struggling to be. You know, success. So, just, just where her success itself is pissing me off. That she got to go that far just to make a dollar. Hmm. I don't think so, y'all. That hurts me. That really hurts me. She going to need some more counseling. Because her and Stevie J and Jocelyn did that counseling. She going to need her own individual counseling. She going to, I mean, girl, you just open up a can of judgment. On your ass. I feel sorry for you. Same thing with Tina from off of Mary Mary. I feel sorry for her. She, she should have kept her shit to herself. Because everybody is going to judge her. Everybody's going to judge her. Everybody's going to have one side. They on this side. And they, you know, they're going to take sides. And everybody's going to judge, you know, the situation. You know. <sighs> we put ourselves out there to be judged, though. But I ain't finna go that goddamn far, y'all. Y'all ain't finna know half of the shit that they coming out with. I'm not finna come out with that shit. Like, for real. And it ain't even been leaked like, oops, it's out there. It's like, let me put it out there. Bitch, you got a daughter. But anyways, y'all, I can be repetitive all day on this shit. And I ain't gonna never feel no other way than this way. I ain't gonna look at her the same, so... This was my little part two session of Mimi Fawcett's tape. Fucked up.
for the low. Keep me funny. This is your girl, Giggs. Bye.